My name is Teresa Turner. Um, I'm Director of Marketing and HR for Articad. I joined the company originally some 30 years ago. Uh, my husband had started the business and it, it was a micro business, very small. There were just four people in the business at that point. We're UK based uh, and we have subsidiary companies in North America, Republic of Ireland, South Africa and also some distribution partnerships in Aust Australia and New Zealand. Articad produces software uh, primarily for kitchen, bedroom and bathroom design. Applications operate online, visualizers, virtual reality um, and also room planners and stylers and configurators and we also produce um, pricing software, uh, business management software for kitchen, bedroom and bathroom retailers and manufacturers. So the company's positioning is designed to help you sell. Uh, so our software, our products, our services, the delivery of those services is all designed to help customers to sell. Our primary product is CAD software and our CAD software is used by a designer uh, to allow them to present the design concepts and ideas to their customer, which is normally a consumer. So they're, they're able to open up our software, easily generate a 2D design which automatically uh, generates a 3D design. Um, they can move the items in items of furniture uh, around very easily, change materials, colors, flooring, walls, furniture. So very easily and quickly configure a very attractive design. And from there, there's an option also to use virtual reality with or without a headset. My name's Alex, I'm the Marketing and Operations Executive here at Articad. I started my journey here at Articad in 2017, um, straight from school working in the customer support team. I then progressed into marketing and now I uh, dive into the operations side of the business as well. In 2017 we acquired um, Smart Systems, uh, trading as KBB Connect, um, which is a pricing and business management uh, ordering solution uh, for customers. At the time, and even up until recently, the, the, the website was very clunky. They offer some comprehensive and absolutely brilliant products, but navigating the way around the website was so confusing really. At the time we were kind of contemplating how we were going to move forward. We, were, we knew we wanted to build a new site um, and uh, initially we were going to move forward with WordPress. Um, a lot of complexity within the WordPress kind of thing um, and uh, myself and my colleague Rachel we were very much like we, we think we can do this. Um, so we kind of delved into Zoho sites um, and we did. We use the majority of the um, apps within Zoho already um, and obviously using Zoho One, moving between the apps you can see all the different ones. Um, we initially started using landing pages within marketing and then we kind of delved further to see that you had Zoho sites. Um, and so we thought that we could absolutely kind of try it ourselves. Um, and literally within a couple of days, uh, we managed to build this brand new fresh site. Um, yes, it needed to, some more like refinement and everything like that, but we had this new brand new brochure site um, in which we kind of considered the customer experience um, more um, and also the, the ease of digest of the information that was on there differing from what we already had to what we want, where we wanted it to be. It's so simple to use. Uh, that's the only way I can really describe it, being able to kind of design within a live environment, drag in what you need, have a look through the elements, there's multiple different designs and when you're starting that website you can actually choose how you want it to look so you don't actually have to build it from the ground up if you don't want to. Um, so we chose like a theme and it kind of guides you step by step with all the different menus and everything like that basically hand-holding you along the entire way, which made the, the process of actually building a website, if you think about it, it's quite daunting um, and it was so much fun. Being able to edit anything uh, in a live environment is quite daunting, um, but with Zoho Sites we're able to kind of just drag in any changes that we need to, make changes to any wording uh, and kind of do it and preview it before publishing. And so it just makes it even easier to be able to drag in those new elements uh, and do it and see what it looks like in a live environment rather than having to kind of make the change, preview, make the change, preview. Um, it's all as it is, as it would be straight away. Being able to change the technical kind of nitty gritty side of the website is so easy as well. Um, I kind of come from a background where I didn't necessarily know marketing before my role here uh, and, and being able to kind of be introduced to SEO and be able to implement SEO so simply was, was so crucial for us. Um, I think even when you're learning how to kind of do that, that kind of technical side of the metadata and the tags and the SEO on a new platform. Um, there were times where we were very much like, well, how do we do that? But again, the help 
um, just going straight onto Google, how do we do the SEO and being guided through the help articles from Zoho helped us and we, we managed to get that done within a day. Rachel and I had never built a website before and being able to do that and see it go live and, and see kind of the celebration from our colleagues and, and kind of the MD of the sister company he absolutely loves the new site um, so that was very rewarding and I, I jumped straight on my LinkedIn to, to promote it myself. Whenever there's something new that we need to kind of look at, refer back to the help articles, we didn't know how to kind of import our news for example found out within one click how to do that from a help article on Zoho, bring that straight in. We've seen a higher interaction rate with the website um, in that we weren't necessarily measuring probably as good as we could have before. Um, the site is very fresh, it's only two weeks old, um, so it is quite hard to kind of understand at present where we're differing, but now we can actually measure. And um, we've, we've got this new site, we've got these new tools, um, and it's exciting at the, the, the kind of prospect of being able to make these changes and adapt and enhance to make that customer journey for them even better. We have some complexity on our current Articab website in which we use kind of an external uh, add-on for forms, which then links through to Zoho, through Zoho Flow, and then links into our CRM. So it's kind of this locomotion, really, of, of kind of different steps. With the new Zoho site, um, it's integrated with Zoho Forms. So once that form's built, I can deploy it on multiple different pages and it goes straight into our CRM system, being able to marry up easily kind of the field within the Zoho where we want it to come into the lead. So from the form where you've got first name, marry up to that field and, and vice versa. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. And we can also distinguish uh, through features such as like tags and things like that, uh, where they came from, if they have come from kind of the Smart Systems website, the KBB Connect website, um, if that's a lead for them, it's assigned to the relevant person for that kind of product. Um, when it's an Articad product, if it's a, an Articad um, salesperson, etc. I think we've, we've definitely considered as well moving our current website onto it to be able to manage everything within one place and bring, if we can bring the main kind of crux of our business into that, into Zoho, even better.